We get lots of questions from electricians who want to step up from installing residential chargers and into the world of commercial type charger installations. Now this could be because they have a customer who's had one installed at home but also wants another one at the workplace so they can charge there or someone who owns a business. They could be they want to offer charging to visitors to a bed and breakfast or perhaps to host an Airbnb. Electric vehicle drivers are increasingly making their purchasing decisions based on the ability to charge at the destination. So this could be lunch at a restaurant, overnight stay at a hotel, or visiting a business for a few hours for a meeting. Either way, offering your visitors the chance to charge an electric vehicle while they're there is a smart business decision. The reality of destination charging is it's all down to supply and demand. Is the demand for charging at the location and can the power supply available at the site cope with EV charging? Now the lofty ambition for a lot of businesses would be to offer something like this, a DC fast charging station. However, the chances that you have a spare quarter of a million watts of power available on your existing electrical installation are slim and the cost of the chargers is pretty expensive, but then when you fold in the cost of all the additional infrastructure you need, that's probably beyond the reaches of most business. Now, DC fast charging, it is fantastic for when you're on the road or near the open road, so you can quickly pull off, get a charge as quick as possible and continue on to your destination. So destination or guestination charging, as I heard it referred to earlier this week, implies you're going to be somewhere for some time. So that could be a business meeting, perhaps around a golf, but either way, you're going to be there for some time and all you need is enough charge to get you back on the road, on the way home or to a DC fast charging station. This Vox all Corsa E has a 50 kilowatt battery and three hours of destination charging is enough to put 70 miles worth of range into that battery. Installers often ask us to recommend a charger for commercial applications and the reality is there are absolutely loads of great chargers out there. Lots of them we have reviewed on the channel before. You might be looking for something really discreet that blends in with the building or something that's more visible with a great user interface that's accessible on the front. However, the reality is a commercial charger relies upon the software behind it for a successful installation. Now, lots of times this comes bundled with the charger, but you may wish to move away from that if you want to manage different charge points from different manufacturers on one software platform. For charge point owners and operators, the software is really important because it fulfills two vital functions. The first being who can access the charge point and charge from it. And the second, how do you bill them for the amount of power that's being used to charge? One of the leading providers of software for charge point management is Monta, and they've got a really fantastic app and they've solved another problem that's occurring as destination charging becomes more popular with more and more EVs. So I'm about to take an electrically powered journey to see what they've been up to, join a very polite queue and hopefully solve the problem of charger rage. Now, if you want an example of charger rage, this would be it. Somebody's parked in the EV charging bay and they're not even charging. So they're preventing other users from getting their charge. Angry. Now it's often said that the British people love queuing and yeah, we certainly do. A group of people with a common objective often results in an orderly queue. However, when it comes to EVs, things have changed really. And I'm down at Fully Charged Live and this is like a herd of wildebeest gathering at an EV watering hole. And there's loads of EVs in this car park, but there's not many chargers. So how are we gonna manage that queuing situation when it comes to EV chargers. Well, let's go and have a look. Now we got here at 9.30 and these bays are already full of EVs charging. So how am I gonna charge until I get home? And the owners of these EVs could fully charge and stay in that show all day. Hmm, or I could wait in my car and wait for them to come back and hopefully there'll be nobody else in this car park also thinks that they're at the front of the queue. Now, if only there was a solution to that. Well, these charge points here have been equipped with some new software functionality that's built into the Monta app, the Smart Queue. Now, the best way to think about that is a little bit when you're on holiday and you want that prime position by the pool. You don't want anybody else to get there, but you also want to have breakfast. Now, I want to see this show, but I also want to charge. So how am I going to get my place in the queue? Well, we do what we do on holiday. If, uh, you get your towel out, and put the towel over the sunbed so you're reserving your spot 
And that's the best way to think about Smart Q. It's a way to reserve your spot. So as soon as one of these cars leaves, I get a notification and I can charge. Now this new Smart Q functionality has been trialed during the fully charged show and the results have been compelling, which is good news for charge point owners and operators and obviously installers too. Through the Monta app, I can choose to join the Smart Q and as soon as the charger becomes free, I receive a notification. I then have 15 minutes to occupy the charger and start the charging process. If I'm busy, I could choose to skip a place in the queue, but the average time between reaching the front of the queue and starting the charge during the trial was just over six minutes. So pretty, pretty efficient swap over process. Of course, for this to work, you have to persuade the car in the charger to move as soon as possible when they've finished charging. And the most effective way is to build them for occupying the space by the minute. So the space quickly turns from an EV charger to a costly parking space. This carrot and stick can be customized in the setup of the Smart Q. And this technique has been used in DC fast charging, such as the Tesla network for several years, but it's the first time I've seen this as a package for destination and workplace charging. This is a fantastic development for charge point operators as it allows you to easily manage your charge point and offer a level of assurance to users that they can charge without having to sit around waiting for a charger to become free, which means more time inside the venue or being productive in the workplace. The world of EV charging is relatively new and learning the behavior of EV drivers is an important part of the journey. There are so many variables when it comes to destination charging. Not everybody arrives empty and not every onboard charger actually has the same speed. So different models of cars perform differently. So it'll be interesting to see how this new SmartQ technology evolves to serve the needs of both users and charge point operators. I'd like to see the option to possibly limit the charge time to stop people hogging chargers, which is when the battery level exceeds 80% and charging speed typically slows down. A question you might be asking, do I need a special charger to use this technology? The good news is it can be enabled with any charger that supports OCPP compatibility. So what is OCPP? Well, you can find out in this video here where I'll be updating this charger with the Monta app and all the great features.